for watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this hairstyle right here. This is my take on the old Hollywood glam look. I did a video similar to this about three years ago, and a lot has obviously changed, and I learned some new tricks, found some easier ways to do it, so I wanted to just take you guys through this look. I feel like fall and wintertime screams this hairstyle. I think it's perfect for a holiday party or just a night out. It's really elegant and classy, and it's so easy to do, so if you want to learn how I got my hair exactly like this, please keep watching. Before starting this look, you want to make sure your hair is air dried. It could be a day or two old, just make sure you haven't used a straightener on it. Whenever I do my hair like this, I always section off my hair, starting with the bottom. I run my finger through the back, split it into two sections, and bring it forward so it's a lot easier. For this look, I'm using a one inch curling wand, and for each side of my hair, I'm going to be curling the hair towards the face. So you just want to wrap it around and keep it on for about 20 seconds until you feel the heat coming through. I like to touch the hair to make sure it's not getting too hot. Once you feel that heat coming through, that's how you know that it's done. Some people it may be a little bit longer and some people may be a little bit quicker. So just test it out and see which works best for your hairstyle. Once you remove it from the heat, you just want to curl it back up in that same position and then pin it up so it has time to cool. You want to repeat the same step on the opposite side. For this type of look, you want to make sure you're using hairspray in between each section. I am using the Schwarzkopf Biotin Volume and Texture H2O Free Hairspray. This is actually my second bottle. I absolutely love this hairspray. It doesn't feel too sticky, which is always good. So you're going to continue to section off your hair using the same steps that I had shown you for the first layer. You want to make sure each side you are curling towards your face and then pinning up. Now when we get to the top layer, this is a little bit different from the previous layers. I am doing a very deep part. Feel free to part it whichever way you prefer. For the back sections, I'm going to be curling away from my face and I'm going to be curling it upwards so it's going to give it some more body. Be careful you don't burn yourself. I have a problem where I have burned myself way too many times. For the smaller side and the front piece, you want to make sure you're curling it away from your face as well. For the back section, you want to make sure you're curling it up like this so it's going to, again, give it a little bit more body and that other piece you can kind of just clip. It's not important. We're going to be brushing that out. Moving on to the next side, the same back pieces. You're going to do it the same way, curling away and pinning it up for more body. And the front piece is the part that we want to do, again, a little bit different. We are curling this part towards our face. I section this into about three sections. That way I can do smaller pieces and they all are getting curled towards my face. I'm also pinning them up the same way that they're being curled. That way it's going to give it some more body. And then later on, I'm going to go in and tease those pieces to give it that really nice height. Okay, so now that we've finished the whole head, you want to spray it one last time. And you want to keep these curls pinned up like this for at least 20 minutes. That way it has time to cool and it's really going to help keep the hairstyle in all day. Okay, so once you've removed all the curls, you are done and this is it. Just kidding, can you imagine? You need to slowly brush out these curls so they're not so PC. So the first thing I'm doing is smoothing down the right side of my hair and putting it behind my ears. For this look, I like to keep that one side behind my ears and then give the top a lot of body. Once I've brushed it through a little bit, I'm grabbing the top piece and I'm going to start teasing and slowly, slowly do it so it stays up once you let go of it. I'm going to repeat that same step with the three sections that I used for the top. The middle piece, you can tease both the front and the back to give it a little extra body and the third piece, you can do the same thing. So tease underneath, tease a little bit on top and then you will see your hair will stand straight up. Once you finish that, you want to spray it so it stays, and then you want to go back to your smoothing brush and start smoothing it all down. So you very lightly want to smooth it because we want to keep that tease in there. That's going to help keep that height in all day. So you just very lightly smooth it to get rid of any of that frizziness, and you just kind of have to play around with it until it's shaped the way you want. Once you finally get it as high as you want, I'm just going back with the curling iron and just curling that whole piece away from my face. And you can see it just gives it a really pretty swoopy look.
Okay, so now that it is sprayed and shaped how I want it, I'm going in with the serum. This one is by Schwarzkopf and it's the Satin Frizz Control and Protect Nectar Beauty Oil. I love this stuff, it smells so good. I'm applying a little bit onto the ends just to smooth out the look a little bit. Then I'm going in with the Schwarzkopf Diamond Color and Radiance Shine Boost Tonic. This stuff is amazing. It will instantly give your hair the most perfect shine. It doesn't leave it feeling greasy whatsoever and it doesn't weigh your hair down. So if you want that really, really shiny look, this product is amazing. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully picked up some new tricks to try it out for yourselves. I love you guys so much and until next time, I will see you guys later.